series of videos for basics of 2K. Uh, in the first video, we did the basics of triple threat and the jab steps and how you set up your opponent for a explosive move. In the second video, we combine that with the dribbling basics and some advanced moves. And in this video, uh, which is the next progression of the series, is the basics of shooting. And before we start, I want to discuss something uh, which will benefit you in terms of understanding the controls and how you execute. And what I do is first set my sticks to absolute, uh, absolute orientation for pro stick orientation. So there are two options. There's camera relative and there's camera absolute. And basically, when you're using the camera absolute controls, regardless of where you are on the floor or what angle or what camera angle you're using, the moves will be executed on the right stick the same way in any position. So a jab step to the right will be a flick on the right stick regardless of where you are on the floor. A step through uh, to the left would be a flick of the left stick to the, a flick of the right stick to the left regardless of where you are on the floor. And uh, this applies to all the moves, shooting, uh, dribbling, jab steps, your triple threat moves, as long as you are using the pro stick, which is the right stick uh, in camera absolute. So that's one thing I recommend you doing. And, uh, and uh, it's something that I've gotten used to uh, because I play in 2K camera mode. And uh, it's much easier that way. There's no second guessing on which move you you, you will do executing what. Uh, less probability for input errors and uh, basically improves my execution. So it's up to you. Uh, you might want to play around with uh, camera relative or camera absolute controls to see what works best depending on which camera angle you are at. But for 2K ca camera, uh, I, I use my camera absolute controls. Okay, so for the basics of shooting, uh, let's start with the first and foremost, uh, the first decision you'll have to make. And that's whether to shoot a jump shot with square or shoot a jump shot with the right stick. And to me, it makes no difference, but as a nature of hab as a force of habit, I use square for my jump shots because it's something that I've gotten used to playing a lot of uh, video game basketball over the years. So I've been playing since... Uh, and be alive and I've just gotten accustomed to uh, in the SNES and I've just gotten accustomed to shooting jump shots with a square you know the shot stick was a later innovation by 2k which you know I use contextually so the right answer and the answer for me is when do I use square when do I use right stick it depends on the situation for stationary jump shots I prefer to use square for my movement shots and my uh, special shots off of the dribble I use the right stick for my escape dribbles, I also use my right stick to shoot. And in the post, I use a combination of square and the right stick depending on what move I'm trying to execute. So before we get any further, let's start with the basics. Uh, holding square basically gives you the shot. Tapping square gives you a fake. And at any point during this fake, especially when you're close to the basket, you can trigger a shot animation regard depending on where you want to go so let's say i fake and i want to shoot to the left as a result what i can do is once i press square in that motion i hold the left stick while i'm pressing square and it will put allow me to alter my shot in a certain direction that i want to go so in this case let's say i want to fake and do a fade away. What I do is tap square, and as that animation is going, I hold uh, down on the left stick while holding square. So in terms of execution, as you can see here, this first, this pump fake is uh, basically tapping square and then I held back and pressed square while shooting a jump shot and that gave me a fade away of a fake. Now let's say I want to f uh, fake and then fade to my left. That's tap square, hold left on the stick and hold square. As you can see, KD drifted to the left after a pump fake. That's tap square, hold the left stick the direction you want to go and then you're 
KD or whichever player you're using will uh, shoot in that direction. So let's say I want to shoot right, tap square, hold the left stick right, and then press square, press and hold square, and that launches you that direction. You can also do it. Uh, you can also launch yourselves moving forward. That's tap square, hold up, and then there you go. KD was leaning in for a jumper uh, to the front. Now, by pressing the touchpad on the PS4 uh, controller, it will activate the hotspots for your specific player. And what hotspots are, are basically spots on the floor where based on tendencies, based on actual real-life performance of these NBA players, uh, the shots are just basically easier and have a higher probability of coming in uh, based on your timing and uh, and based on your spot on the floor. So in freestyle, you can activate your um, your hot your hot zones by pressing the touchpad. But during a live game, without the benefit of your hot zones, you will see. Uh, based on that ring where uh, Durant's name is, those four arrows, if they turn red, that means you are in a hot spot. So as you can see here, it's not a hot spot. The color of the four arrows are white. Inside the paint, here is a hot spot. And as you can see, the colors of the four arrows are red. And you might want to take advantage of these uh, opportunities. Uh, to shoot a higher field goal percentage by calling plays, leading your uh, your your AI players uh, to certain directions. Uh, that's just one thing you want to be aware of. Okay. So my basic shots are that pump fake escape. But from a stationary position, you can also shoot your escape dribble, uh, escape dribble pull-ups. And how you do that is hold R2, which is your turbo button, and hold the right stick in any direction you want to go. So let's say I want to do an escape dribble pull-up to a shot. Uh, on onto my left side, I just hold turbo and hold the right stick to the right, and KD launched to the left. Uh, to the left. And uh, it launched into a jump shot. If I want to do that to the right, same concept. Hold R2 while holding the right stick to the right. Gives you an escape dribble pull up. Uh, holding R2 while pressing back doesn't give you anything. It's just a regular jump shot. But uh, holding the right stick up while holding turbo gives you a escape dribble bank shot. And... Uh, I wasn't able to execute the bank shot because that's off angle, but let's see from here. Holding R2, holding the right stick up, escape dribble, bank shot. In general, holding the right stick up gives you a bank shot. Okay. Next. And this is an important counter. Uh, this is an important counter move and one you should have in your arsenal. And that is the spin jump shot. And how you execute a spin jump shot is uh, as you are running a certain direction, maybe away from the basket, you double tap square. Okay. Double tap square while holding turbo. Double tap square while holding turbo. Double tap square while holding turbo. As you can see, these are very powerful in combination with the jab step, triple threat moves, and the crossovers I taught you earlier. See, it basically allows you to lead your defender one way and counter with a spin move. Double tap square. And in the second tap, you press, uh, you hold square to launch you into the shot. Double tapping square while holding turbo gives you the spin shot fake. And from the spin shot fake, just as with any other faking opportunity, this allows you to go into your up and under moves. And the direction of your up and under shot, your, your secondary shot off of the fake, is determined by your left stick. And uh, yeah, the, the direction you hold the left stick when you want to launch yourself into a shot. So in this case, I'm holding the left stick back to do a fadeaway out of a shot. Let's say I want to do to the left. I'm just holding the left stick to the left while shooting. And it's natural. So all these moves, they build into each other. Okay. 
Next, while driving, I'm going to teach you the step back shots, your snatch back shots, and your hop jumpers while moving. And this is executed by holding turbo and using the right stick to uh, in any direction, uh, any of the four basic directions, so either up, down, left, or right while holding turbo while moving. So let's say I want to do a step back shot, and how we do that is uh, while moving, holding turbo, you hold the right stick down, gives us the step back jump shot, and this is very deadly because it allows you to create space. And in combina again, in combination with your, your, your triple threat moves, your crossovers, this is very deadly in terms of uh, getting your defender going one way and then countering with a step back jump shot. Creates space, gives you a good quality shot, and improves your shot outcome. Of course, you have to memorize the timing. Okay, that's uh, holding turbo while moving and holding the right stick down. Now, holding the right stick in the direction where you are uh, moving towards in this case, if I want to move to my right, okay, holding the right stick into the direction of that shot, uh, holding the right stick into the direction where I'm dribbling towards, and in this case, right, gives us a hop jumper. So in this case, while moving to my right, I'm holding turbo, and then holding the right stick gives us that hop jumper. How is it different from the step back? Well, a step back is meant for creating more separation. So if you can see that difference in the animation there, KD does an exaggerated step back while a hop jump, oops, it gets me into a dunk, while a hop jumper, is it, it creates separation, sure, but it's not as aggressive as a step back. Okay, now while moving to my right, the next move is the snatch back jump shot. And how you do this is by holding R2 while moving Press and hold the right stick towards the opposite direction of your ball hand. So in this case, it's uh, as I'm moving to the right, the opposite direction is to the left. So as I'm moving right, hold R2 and hold the left stick. I uh, hold the right stick towards the left. Gives you that snatch back jumper. And that's a great counter move again for when you are moving a certain direction. Want to take the ball back. Boom. Defender's momentum is going one way. You're going the other. And again, the last move is while holding turbo, holding right stick up gives you a bank hop shot. So again, you can do this to the left, step back jumper, hold R2, hold right stick down. If I want to do a hop jumper, press and hold the R2 and the right stick towards your ball hand or towards the direction you are running. Holding R2 and turbo to the opposite direction gives you the snatch back jumper. And R2 plus the right stick up, you know, if you're not running towards the basket, will give you a hop bank shot. Let me execute that. Okay, let, as I'm moving to my left, well, KD's doing the dunk animation, but basically it's, uh, you get what I'm saying. As I'm moving to my left, there you go. Okay, so those are your basic shots, your jump shots, your, your fake to an escape dribble, your stationary escape dribble pull-ups, your moving shots starting with your spin moves, your snatchbacks, your hop jumpers, your step backs. Oops, I'm doing a dunk. So it's it's good to know when these shots are being used for specific situations. And that's why you gotta learn the, the triple threat game, man. That's how you learn how to create space and you counter depending on where your defender is leading you. Okay. So for these moving shots, you can execute these also by using the face buttons. But for the moving shots, I like to use the shot stick. It feels more natural. And again, for the moving shots, you can basically execute your up and unders. Okay. Now, the next ones are for your layups. And basically, you execute layups by moving towards the basket and holding the right stick in any direction. So for your basic aggressive towards the basket layup, while you are moving, not holding turbo, what you do is you hold, press and hold the right stick up and that gives you a direct line layup. It doesn't choose, it, the, the CPU 
or the game will choose which side you want to do the layup towards. Okay, now pressing and holding the right stick to the left will give you a left handed layup, as you can see here. Uh, while moving, no turbo, holding the left the right stick towards the left gives you a left handed layup okay and holding the right stick to the right gives you a right handed layup okay now the next move is your more advanced uh, layup move and it it comes in two different branches first is your cradle layup and to execute this okay you have to be aware of where your ball hand is and in this case i'm driving with my ball hand my left hand as my ball hand Pressing and holding the right stick in a diagonal direction towards your ball hand gives you the cradle layup. And in this case, I'm pressing it at a uh, pressing and holding the right stick at a seven o'clock position. That's diagonally to the back towards my left side while moving. Gives you that cradle layup. And what are the cradle layups? So if you can think of Prime Derek Rose, uh, he used to do this a lot. Stefan Marbury. Uh, used to do this uh, move a lot too. It's when they would cradle the ball like a baby. Uh, protects the ball from uh, from st strip attempts, from steal attempts. And uh, it, it gives you that, see, as you can see here, KD is cradling the ball for that extra protection. And you can do this by holding the right stick uh, towards your ball hand at the diagonal backwards direction. So in this case, that's either uh, five o'clock or six o'clock, or five o'clock or seven o'clock direction on the right stick, depending on where your ball hand is. So if it's on the left side, that's a seven o'clock direction. If it's on the right side, that's a five o'clock direction. Now, pressing and holding the right stick towards the uh, back and diagonally away from your ball hand will give you the euro step layup so if the ball is in your left hand pressing and holding the right stick towards the five o'clock direction that's downwards and to the right it gives you the euro step direction to the right okay now if the right hand is my ball hand pressing and holding the right stick downwards or backwards and to the left that's a seven o'clock direction will give you the euro step to the left okay again these these sound complicated but once you execute the moves it's it's pretty simple you just have to know where your ball hand is to execute your cradles and your your euro steps it's the diagonal motion and these are very good moves uh, in terms again creating space learning how to do the euro steps seamlessly creating space, learning how to use the cradle layup seamlessly, gives you that extra decision in your decision tree to use a specific shot uh, depending on a different type of situation. Okay, next, uh, holding the right stick down gives you a floater while moving, that gives you that floater. And for little guys, this is good to avoid getting blocked that's what the floater is for basically think Tony Parker think Steve Nash and those are your basic layup packages One thing you can do also from a driving position is tap square it gives you that hop hop step, which um, if you press square again after the hop, press and hold square, that gives you a layup after that's a hop step layup. Again, from your hop step, you can do your up and unders. So in this case, let's say I want to hop to the paint. You can do your up and under moves uh, if you don't want to execute immediately. So it's good to familiarize yourselves with these 
so that you are aware of uh, the different types of shots that you can make because they're always uh, there's always a layup for a specific situation and uh, again I'm not if we want to look at these moves with a demonstration uh, with a diagram of how you're supposed to uh, execute these moves this is the way to go you're in uh, you're in your options and your controls and the last move which you know is very situational and something that I use very rarely is your reverse layup and you do this by pressing and holding the right stick uh, towards the opposite side of the rim so in this case I'm driving uh, left I press and hold the right stick to the right if I'm driving right I press and hold the left stick to the left I've, I've, I use this very very rarely uh, because they're easily blocked and I just do them if I want to get it to style on my opponent okay and the least interesting of course are your dunks pressing and holding the right stick towards your uh, ball hand or your non ball hand chooses the direction of where to dunk as you can see there I held the right stick to the right if you want to do it towards the rim there you go uh, I think uh, pressing and holding the right stick down gives you a flashy dunk while holding turbo and uh, pressing and holding the right stick up gives you your two-handed dunk is that right I think that's right uh, I don't I'm not particularly choosy about my yeah my dunks yeah two-hand dunk is uh, pressing and holding the right stick towards the hoop dominant or offhand dunk basically you choose right or left you determine uh, your dunking hand and your flashy dunk pressing and holding down and um, so yeah those are the basic uh, shot tutorials again these are very very powerful the once you know which shot to use in a specific situation so again you want to build up off of the first video which is your triple threat your second video which are your dribble moves and this video which are your shots because um, your shot success will, deter will be determined largely by the quality of your shot by the space you have between you and your defender and your shot timing of course and um, there are different types of shots which I'm not going to include in this tutorial specifically for the post moves as you can see uh, the dream shake is a very pretty move and a very good move for post up players and it's very easy to execute it looks hard but once you have the rhythm down as you can see here it's very easy and I think I'll do that for the post-up tutorial which will be my next in this series the post-up game uh, for 2k18 is crazy there's a lot of a uh, lot of variety in your uh, in your uh, step throughs in your jab steps in your face up game which uh, wasn't available in previous years as you can see these are all very sweet and when you combine that with your jab step game and your triple threat positions uh, it's basically the most realistic playing basketball game out there and uh, yeah uh, that will be my next video out of this series I think I'll do that tomorrow so uh, thanks to everyone who uh, gave the video a like and a comment uh, I hope these are helpful for those new 2k players 
And uh, yeah, just keep on building on the first video, the second video, this video, and the video tutorial tomorrow will be on post-ups.